patrolman pulled over to re-secure her. And when he opened the back door, she punched him in the face with the handcuffs and tried to flee. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at 10 times Karen's attacked cops. Swung back knowing he grabbed me because he didn't say anything. I didn't know who it was. For this list, we'll be looking at moments of the rudest and most entitled people that attacked law enforcement officials, security guards, TSA agents, or other similar authority figures, making their situations a million times worse. What happened when you met a Karen in the wild? Let us know below. Cop Chomp in November 2018, the police arrived at an address in Troy, Michigan to deal with an intoxicated Sylvia Hope Varellen. Talk about a bizarre night for Troy police officers. This dash cam video allegedly shows Sylvia Varellen in an apparent drunken fight. She had gotten inside her boyfriend's house, refused to leave, and taken jewelry belonging to his late mother. Immediately, Varellen began fighting the cops both physically and verbally. After being bitten, kicked, and punched, the officers eventually arrested Varellen. However, she asked them to remove a piece of hair from her face, but the cops were on to her nibbling plan and refused. I need you to take right. the hair out of my, my face, please. Can you unlock me? I'm not I'm, touching anywhere I, close to your face because you tried to bite me already. At the station, she admitted that she had swallowed a pair of earrings, which were taken back later at the hospital. Gross. Fair fight. Skipping out on a taxi fare is never a good idea. And in December 2016, Taiwanese securities broker Dina Hawang Chaiyung did just that in Singapore after having too much to drink and catching a lift back home. But not on this driver's shift. Chang Chek Wee was recorded holding on to Huang's bag as he called for help. <laughs> Well, this angered Huang, who attacked the driver. When Chang let go, Huang went into a restaurant to complain about the driver. Another fight broke out, resulting in Huang biting and striking a security guard. Hey! You lady! I'm Stupid lady! After all that, she then napped outside the restaurant until the police arrived. In 2018, Hoang was sentenced to three weeks in jail and fined a thousand Singapore dollars. Hostel at Harrods. The pandemic really brought out all the Karens in their droves. In June 2021, a group of women were escorted out of the luxury shop Harrods in London, England for not wearing a mask inside and allegedly getting aggressive when asked to wear one. <laughs> Once outside, the women became hostile and got physical with the guards. After a scuffle for a brief moment, it seemed like things had settled down and everyone could go about their days in relative peace. But no. One of the women saw a gap and spat at a guard before sprinting off. Grim. Unfortunately for her, the mob of guards quickly caught up to her and restrained her until the police arrived and arrested her. <laughs> Mace Maniac. There's making the situation worse, then there's Karina Weymouth Bell's reaction. In July 2020, she was requested to pull over by the Idaho State Police on the I-84 after driving erratically. Idaho State Police say 21-year-old Karina Weymouth Bell was swerving in and out of traffic on I-84 on Friday. Well, Weymouth Bell ignored that and kept going for a while before eventually stopping. Instead of being shameful, she went full rage. Weymouth Bell stomped out of the car and aimed a can of mace at the trooper, who hid behind his door. Weymouth Bell aggressively approached the trooper. As the dangerous driver tried to go back to her car, the trooper tasered her, then slapped the cuffs on. After Weymouth Bell was taken to the hospital to be assessed, she was charged with many infractions, including eluding law enforcement, possessing marijuana, and assaulting an officer. Weymouth Bell is currently in the Ada County Jail. She's facing six charges, two of which are felonies cuffed Karen. It should have been an easy incident for Officer Jason Charest in March 2015 after getting a call that a woman was behaving poorly in Kingston, New York. Kingston police say it all started here at Snapper McGee's Bar on North Front Street early Friday morning after they received a call for someone acting unruly. And it was, for a bit. 
After slapping the handcuffs on Virginia Valdez, who allegedly broke a glass door at the bar and putting her in the car to take her to the station, the detainee squeezed out of the bracelets. Then, she hit Cherist in the face with the cuffs and attempted to escape. As she was being transported to the station, investigators say she slipped out of her handcuffs and tried to escape the patrol car. While the cop had to be treated for his injuries, Valdez's plan didn't work and she was processed. But she didn't make it easy by being hostile and trying to give a false identification. She uh, refused to uh, cooperate with the booking procedure, refused to be fingerprinted, was swinging and fighting at the officers who were attempting to uh, get the whole process done. But still, at least we got to see her mugshot. Jonesing for juice. No one likes giving up their liquids when heading off for a flight. But Micaiah Coleman's reaction was very OTT in April 2023. Federal officials say Coleman attacked three TSA officers during the security screening process inside Terminal 4 around 6 a.m. At the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, Coleman had her apple juice taken by TSA agents, causing her to rant as she went through the bin to retrieve it. But when agents blocked her, Coleman got onto a table and fought with the security staff as they attempted to restrain her. They shut down that checkpoint and called in Phoenix police to arrest Coleman and investigate. She gave one a concussion after elbowing the officer in the head. Coleman also ripped the agent's clothing, punched one several times, and reportedly bit another before she was detained. Unsurprisingly, Coleman was arrested for her rampage. Judge setting bond at $4,500, ordering her to wear an ankle monitor and stay away from Sky Harbor. In June, she was indicted on six counts. Extinguisher injustice. Bailing on paying a restaurant bill is bad enough, but Jennifer K. Holder definitely escalated proceedings in January 2023 at the Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport in Georgia. <laughs> When security arrived after Holder tried to enter a secured door, she grabbed a fire extinguisher, sprayed them, then went on a rampage through the airport, scattering it all over the place, covering innocent bystanders. <laughs> this caused several people to need medical attention for respiratory issues. Even when the cops arrived, they too got covered in foam during Holder's carnage. However, even after arresting her, Holder wasn't done, as she allegedly kicked and spat at the officers. Unsurprisingly, she was charged with numerous crimes, including battery and obstructing law enforcement. Sucker Punch it was meant to be a simple traffic stop for Officer Patrick Cutler in Lincoln Park, Michigan in May 2017. He pulled over a car, found the driver had an expired license, and attempted to arrest her. But the passenger, Kristen Campbell, wasn't having that and got verbally abusive at Cutler. Out, Officer Cutler pulled over the car Campbell was riding in. He determined the driver did not have a license, and well, Campbell got mouthy with Officer Cutler while arresting the driver. With his patience gone, the cop went to arrest Campbell. Dash cam footage showed her spinning around and punching him in the face, giving him a black eye. Uh-oh, Cutler got Campbell to the ground, but she continued to struggle. A bystander handed the cop his handcuffs that he had dropped in the brawl. Thank you. Watches the bystander throws the cop his handcuffs lost in the scuff. But still, Campbell kept resisting, causing Cutler to taser her three times. She spent two days in jail and apologized for her behavior. I told him that twice. Um, I don't know what came over me. It turns out Officer Cutler pulled over the car Campbell was riding in. Country Girl. In July 2019, an officer pulled over Deborah Hamill's truck in Cashin, Oklahoma. Due to broken taillights she had had for six months and issued her an $80 fine. Hamill pulled over for a busted taillight. The entire tailgate smashed in. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. However, the driver argued against it, refusing to sign the ticket. So the cop tried to arrest the 65-year-old who drove off. Eventually, the officer caught up and dragged Hamill from the car to put the cuffs on. However, she fought and booted him in the crotch. Then pulls Hamill out of her truck. That's when you see Hamill kick him in the groin. With that, he tasered her. Later, once emotions had calmed, the cop asked her why she struggled, and Hamill said it was because she was a country girl. Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. 
In 2020, Hamill pleaded guilty to various charges and received a four-year deferred sentence alongside fines. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Literal Street Fight In June 2017, Carmen Mata had far too much to drink and decided disrupting traffic at an intersection in Long Beach, California was a swell idea. She allegedly blocked cars, even jumping on them. When the cop arrived to deal with it, Mata turned her vengeance from vehicles to the law. After being verbally abusive, Mata squared up to the officers as the cars rolled past. Finding her inner Muhammad Ali, Mata dodged the cop's attempts to strike her with a baton several times, which was pretty impressive. Eventually, the officer got the upper hand and dragged her to the ground to arrest her, as she continued insulting him before backup arrived. Mata was unsurprisingly charged with several offenses, including resisting arrest. 